uh, we are going to have a uh, class on a discussion on weighted least square approximation this uh, least square approximation as we know is uh, used in a situation where sup uh, suppose we have a n set of data m set of data say x1 y1 x2 y2 etc up to xm ym then this uh, set of data correspond to a function y is equal to f of x actually one can find out uh, a function y is equal to f of x that fit to the given set of data and we will be finding out this uh, set of data actually correspond to a function actually the variation of uh, the, uh, the physical quantities follows the function y is equal to f of x which can have a, which may be an exponential function or logarithmic function or a quadratic function or a cubic function or a some or a polynomial like that or some other uh, some form it is form, uh, following some function and uh, these are some representative data that uh, we have measured from that physical quantity by experimentation we are measuring some data values x and y values so one an independent quantity and the other y is the dependent quantity the image quantity corresponding to that x value and this n data are some representative data corresponding to that function somewhere else we are taking um, some x value and corresponding values to find out suppose we are taking another set of value we will have another set of data and for one set of uh, data values it is possible for us to find out a function which is uh, minimizing the errors that is where uh, the data values are deviating from the uh, function f of x and uh, that deviation is squared and uh, all the deviations corresponding to the m set of data are uh, added together and that uh, gives the quantity s yes. it is a sum of squares of errors sum of squares of errors and this s yes, uh, this quantity is uh, minimized with respect to the values uh there is suppose uh, we are taking the f of x is uh, assumed to have some form suppose it is having a polynomial form of degree n so f of x can have uh, the form a0 plus a1x plus a2x square plus etc up to a n x power n a n x rise to n so in the case you can uh differentiate do s you can find out the partial derivative of s with respect to the various ai values that is you can find out do s by do 0 do a 0 do s by do a 1 like that and up to do s by do a n so if, according to the principle of least square approximation the best fitted values for uh, the given set of data are given by the partial derivative of the do s with respect to do a 0 do a 1 etc equal to 0 that is do s by do a 0 equal to do s by do a 1 equal to etc up to do s by do a n equal to 0 so those so by taking that you can find out some set of equations So called the normal equations and solving the normal equations you can isolate the values of a0 a1 and a1 a2 etc up to a or suppose if it is a quadratic function you can find out 
that is uh, then there will be three coefficients a0 a1 and the a2 so that is the principle of least square approximation here our case is the weighted least square approximation in the case of uh, usual least square approximation we will be taking the weight all the data are assumed to have equal weight and we take that all the data are reliable and we assign a weight of 1 to each data but uh, suppose uh, a particular data is uh, highly reliable than the other data then we can assign an approximate weight so that uh, each data can be uh, that each uh, error or the deviation Uh, the deviation of f x from the corresponding y, y y i minus f of x i that here that is called e i e i square is multiplied by the corresponding weight w one and uh, you are adding together to find out the total s yes, so that you will get uh, s is equal to w one e one square w one e two square plus etc up to w m e m square this w i is called weight. Uh, and uh, fx is the fitted curve so you are uh, prescribing your weight to the data and according to its relative accuracy so now let us discuss about uh, uh, two particular case, the, the two cases that is linear and non linear cases are uh, going to discuss suppose uh, for a given weighted set of data we have to find out uh, a straight line of the form o is equal to a0 plus a1 x so next question is how we will fit uh, a straight line to such a set of data so we have uh, x i y i so first data is x1 y1 second data x2 y2 etc up to x m y m m data set available so then because we have to find out uh, a linear straight line curve or linear line there will be two constants a0 and a1 and so you are varying the different values of a0 so you can have among the set of data values you can have different lines you can draw infinite number of lines but uh, what we are objecting is a particular line which minimizes the quantity s with respect to the a0 and a1 and the corresponding a0 and a1 which minimizes the values are the least square uh, fit fitted values so we have to find that particular set of values a0 and a1 so that would be a specific value of a0 and a specific value of a1 so here s of a0 and a1 here a0 and a1 are two variables for that correspond to different lines and we are we have to find out the, those particular values of a0 and a1 for which the s is a minimum above you, you we take the usual value of expression so s in the, exp, uh, the expression for s is i is equal to 1 to m w i into y i minus a0 plus a1 x i and that difference is squared so that is multiplied by w i and it is sum to that to get the total s yes. so here is we are minimizing we are finding out the maximum and minima that correspond to do i s by do i s 0 and do i s by do i a1 equal to 0 so what will you get if you take do i s by do i s do a0 so we have an expression for s suppose you are differentiating that expression you are taking the partial derivative of that expression with respect to a0 so you will get a, a quantity like that so w is a constant so y a is a, a constant value which is a fixed value but uh, here the variables are a0 and a1 so suppose uh, you are <coughs> differentiating we have to differentiate with respect to a0 so a0 and a1 are so that is that comes as uh, the uh, variables x i is a constant x i could be taken as a constant so that uh, this is uh, the vari- uh, a0 plus a1 x i in the that uh, that takes up uh, the form of a variable uh, 
that is uh, a function a function of a0 and a1 so, so suppose you are taking the de derivative <coughs> so there is a minus 2 comes there then w i is a constant then uh, y i <coughs> y i minus <coughs> y i minus a0 plus a1 xi because it is a second degree I want, uh, because it is a second degree you have a one in the first derivative that is a y a minus that y a minus a0 plus a, a1 xi xs and then in the second case you have to take that function y a minus a0 plus a1 xi and that has to be differentiated with respect to a0 so that minus 1 arises and that minus 1 is a come with that minus 2 outside otherwise there is a 2 and because you are taking that minus sign also you will get a minus sign and all other quantities are as we have discussed and that should be equated to 0 similarly in the second case we are differentiated with respect to a1 and you will get a while you are also it is of the same uh, type of equation and you are solving that equation and uh, isolating so you can have an expression in terms of uh, a, that involves a0 a1 and a0 if it is taken as uh, uh, a the value we have to find out and other as taken as a constant coefficients and uh, you can find out the values of a0 and a1 that is simultaneously solving the two equations to find out uh, the particular values of a0 and a1 for which the equation solves that those are the roots those are the roots of the equation that gives the roots a0 and a1 that is obtained by uh, by rearranging and transforming this um, rearranging this equation and solving this equation by solving this equation you can find out a0 and a1 so these are the normal equations solving this normal equations you can find out a0 and a1 so we are next going to discuss an example so you are given some four data 0 minus 1 2 5 5 12 7 20 these are four data of which the data 5 12 is more reliable than the other data and it is assumed to have a weight of 10 that is it is 10 times reliable than the other data how will you solve we have to find out a linear fit we are asked to find out a linear weighted fit least square fit linear weighted least square fit we have to fit, fit a line to this weighted set of data so we have x and there is corresponding y and uh, each data all the weights are 1 except uh, the data 5, 5 12 which is having a weight 10 so w is equal to 10 corresponding to that all other weights are 1 then we have to find out uh, w uh, then wx is required according to the normal equation wx is required wx square is required wy is required and wxy is required then we have to find out sum of w, sum of wx, sum of wx square, sum of wy, sum of wxy. And uh, using the normal equation and substituting these values, uh, you can uh, get two equations. And solving these two equations, you can find out the values of a0 and a1. And uh, putting the values of a0 and a1 in the expression for uh, the line, you can find out uh, the equation for uh, the fitted line of the form y is equal to a0 plus a1x here a0 takes a value minus 1.349345 and a1 takes a value 2.73799 so thus we have a find out an equation for a straight line that fit to the weighted set of data so next is a non-linear weighted least square approximation next case is we have to so we have discussed the case of fitting a straight line to a given set of data next one is we have to fit a non-linear curve so we are fitting a non-linear n degree polynomial it is a non-linear curve n degree polynomial 
suppose you can have in general uh, in general it is same the degree polynomial you can have a quadratic or a cubic or by quadratic expressions for different values of n so in general it is you take it as a, an nth degree expression so the usual procedure we are following to find out the s so the function y is equal to a0 plus a1x plus x up to an x i raised to n is subtracted from yi and that difference uh, and it is taken as ei and it is square ei square and it is multiplied by wi and uh, summing over i for all this uh, multiplied by wi ei square and uh, you, you will get to the value of s then in order to find out uh, the fit of fitted values of s uh, that is uh, the fitted a0 a1 x up to an that is the optimized set of a0 a1 a2 x up to an Dep uh, depending on the least square principle you have to find out do i square do i a0 do i square do i a1 and that all to be equated to zero so we have an expression for s you are differentiating that expression with respect to a0 and you will get uh, some n plus 1 equations you can get and these are the normal equations that are given there the equations are given there you can look into that equation so what are the forms of equation a0 always all the equations start with a0 and some coefficients terms that comes along with a0 are there so we have to simultaneously solve all these equations to find out the value of a0 a1 etc up to an and this n plus 1 equations we have to solve and by solving that we can find out the values of a0 and knowing the values of a0 a1 etc a1 a0 a1 etc up to an one can find out the fitted equation that is the nth degree polynomial y is equal to a0 plus a1 x plus a2 x square plus x up to an x so it is a way to find out the uh, the find out the nth degree polynomial suppose you have to find out a second degree polynomial you have to find out a0 a1 and a2 suppose you have to find out a, a third degree polynomial you have to find a0 a1 a2 a3 so you will have to solve you will get the four equations and you have to solve these four equations to find out the four constants a0 a1 a2 and a3 like that you can solve them. suppose uh, you have uh, the degree of the polynomial n is less than number of data you can have a unique solution to the set of data a unique equation can be obtained a unique solution to the equation can be obtained or the equation will be a unique one so when the degree of the polynomial you are suppose you are fitting a polynomial degree uh, n which is less than the number of data you will get a unique solution so next we our case is to fit a least square fit to a continuous functions you are given a continuous function so usually we are given a discrete set of data instead of that we are having a continuous function that exists between interval a plus the interval a b so there is a continuous function so this continuous function is to be fitted with a polynomial or some expression some function of appropriate shape a linear or quadratic or in general we are fitting a polynomial of degree n so our objective is to fit such a polynomial to a given function for a given function or interval exists in our function for a, a, a function which is existing in the interval we have to find out a polynomial that fit to the data so how we will fit it so suppose we are fitting a polynomial of the form y is equal to a0 a1 x plus a2 x square plus x up to a n x power n so we have to fit that function then let us here that uh, you are finding out the error of y of x instead of y 
this y will be a function of x. Y of x is will be given a given function that is continuous in an interval y of x, and that y of x you are subtracting the given the fitting function f of x or y is equal to f of x from this y of x, the given function. Given function is having a form a zero plus a one x plus uh, the given or the function that has to be fitted has the form. It is a polynomial function of degree n, and that polynomial function is uh, subtracted from the given function y of x, and uh, corresponding to each uh, value of x, uh, we can have uh, a weight function, and you are multiplying that uh, error into. Error square with the weight function w x, and uh, you are summing together this uh, product uh, with uh, the product of this w with uh, e square over all the values between a and b. So you are finding out the integral, and you will get the value of s. Then you are minimizing it for the the different values of a zero. This function, this integral is minimized. And then, on upon minimizing, you will get some n plus one equations that involves integral, and that integrals are evaluated, or that integrals are even isolated. Using that integrals, you are finding out an expression for a zero, a zero, a one, a two, etc. In terms of the weight and the product of weight with Quantities such as x, y, etc. So, x will, x will only the product with x. So that quantities are evaluated. So these are coming as some coefficients of a zero, a one, etc., which are a zero, which are to be assumed as some variable a zero, a one, etc. are assumed to be variables. And suppose you are simultaneously solving the same set of equations to And we are finding out that those particular those particular values of a zero, a one, etc., which simultaneously solve all these n plus one equations, and that particular a zero, a one, etc., which is evaluated by simultaneously solving this solving this set of n plus one equations, uh, will give the equation that fit to the continuous function. So, putting the values for zero, a one, etc., you can find out the n degree polynomial. So, we are discussing a, a problem. The given function y is equal to sine x that exists in the interval zero to pi by two, and we have to fit a second degree polynomial of the form y is equal to a zero plus a one x plus a two x square. And we take the normal equations here. Uh, A zero, and then uh, the coefficient of a zero is integral zero to pi by two dx. The next one is that comes along with a one is zero to pi by two. That is a and b. The integral is a and b. X into dx. Next one is a square dx. Then y dx. Right side of y dx. When I mean the second equation, that they will. So you can write down the terms. Second equation a zero. अरे अरे कोई कोफिशियन वाला नहीं इनका सिरो टू पाइ बाइ टू एक्स डी एक्स सो इट इस ओरो एक्स वन डे मल्टीप्लाई में रेफ़ेक्ट आउट होगी ना मतलब सो इट इस एक यू हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई विथ एक्स ये बहुत इक्वेशन इसे मल्टीप्लाइंग विथ एक्स दैट रेफ़ेक्ट इस कम्स दे देन इनसेड ब्रैकेट सो लाइक � So then, right side le also that quantity sine x is multiplied by x. Then you are finding out the integral. In the next third equation, x square first term is multiplied with x square dx is integrated. Then along with the a one, x cube dx is integrated like that, and all the terms are evaluated. And solving these three equations, you can find out a zero. You can find out a zero. So, simplifying these equations, you have to evaluate the integrals and substitute the values, and you will get simplify on upon simplifying the equations, you will get the equations involving a zero, a one, a two, 
and simultaneously solving these three equations you can find out values of a0, a1 and a2, a0 is given by that expression, the, the expressions for a0, a1, a2 are given, the evaluated expressions and substitute these values of a0, a1 and a2 in the quadratic polynomial you can find out the required quadratic polynomial. So we can evaluate the required quadratic polynomial. Suppose uh, you are putting x is equal to pi by 4. Then sin pi by 4 is equal to we have uh, an expression and it can be evaluated to be 0 0.706167587. And the exact value of sin pi by 4 is given by 0 0.709106781. So the error is uh, the exact value minus approximate value and that is given by roughly 0.0093994. So, thus the given function sin x is approximated by a quadratic polynomial and uh, the difference between the exact function sin x and the approximate quadratic polynomial is also tabular, uh, also fine format. So, thus we uh, conclude this uh, presentation on weighted least square approximations. So, let us finish here. Thank you very much.